Women's NCAA Final Four tickets are double the price of men's. Now, the men are playing in a much bigger venue, but nonetheless, that is driven by Caitlin Clark. I cannot think. This morning, I sat down and I went back 10 years. I went back 15 years to the last men's college basketball player that was this popular. Now, Zion was big for about six months. His shoe ripped apart, but we didn't have a slow build. It was sort of like internet phenom, Duke, bye-bye. Jimmer Fredette was an oddity, very briefly, but BYU was not a high-profile program, and nobody thought he was going to be great professionally. J.J. Redick, very polarizing for the number one program in the country, but Coach K always took a lot of oxygen uh, out of the room there. He is the brand, was the brand of Duke basketball. I'm, I'm trying to think of the last time a men's college basketball player tripled ratings, tripled, quadrupled ticket prices. And I go back to a guy I covered. I was doing local in Las Vegas at the time. It's Christian Leitner of Duke. So big program, great looking, beloved, hated, tribal feelings all over the board for him. His team beat many regarded as the best college basketball team ever in UNLV. Remember, they came back and beat him after that. UNLV clobbered him, humiliated Duke in Denver. They came back the next year, shocked the world and beat him. He had the looks. He had the game. And there were other players like, for instance, Shaq. But Shaq's team didn't do anything in the tournament. And Leitner and Duke played Shaq, and they were better. I had to go back 33 years. In fact, I was thinking this morning, why? Some of it is she's presently great, Caitlin Clark. Um, she has a past. She was great last year. And she has a future. She'll be the number one pick in the WNBA. Past, present, future. She's got it all. And that matters. There's an arc to it, like a good movie. Jimmer Fredette was never going to be a great pro. Zion hasn't been a great pro. And we didn't talk much about him in high school. We didn't really care. And in Duke, it was one big year. In fact, I thought to myself, the only recent college athlete I can even compare to Caitlin Clark, well, what's the most popular college sports football? Would be Tim Tebow. She is Tim Tebow. It's mostly the sport but something beyond that, she's the feisty Midwestern underdog playing for redemption after losing to LSU last year. Tim Tebow had a very unique game. We're not sure it was going to win at the pro level, but he did get drafted in the first. He was popular. Most of it was football, but there was an intensity with Caitlin Clark and Tebow. There was a passion with Caitlin Clark and Tebow. There's a relatability with Caitlin Clark and Tebow. Not everybody initially gets it with either, but now everybody's all in. And I think that's the last time. Christian Leitner in 90, 91, 92, um, his last couple years there, he was, I mean, he's the only guy to make the dream team, upset UNLV, part of Duke, cocky, divisive, polarizing, good looking. And he was a, one of the five best college players I've ever seen. I didn't see uh, Lou Alcindor at UCLA but or Bill Russell at San Francisco, but Leitner was dominant. Went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Shaq and was the better player. He was a great college player. But uh, Nick Wright talked about she is also, and this helps her, she has the same game to a large degree of our most popular NBA player. She is the first person, male or female, that has taken Steph's game and duplicated it to her skill set. Whether it's the kick ahead passing, whether it is the great court vision, or the impossible range, it is really special to watch. And it doesn't matter that it's women's basketball. People love stars and great athletic events, and that crosses any gender lines there was. Meanwhile, there was a big trade yesterday, Stephon Diggs, but it's just not a receiver going to the Texans. The Buffalo Bills have a great history in this country of almost winning Super Bowls and never winning Super Bowls. Jim Kelly, Marv Levy, all those years, they had to face dynasties, and now they have to face another, the Kansas City Chiefs. And they just lost easily their best skilled player, Stephon Diggs. We've been waiting for years to figure out who is going to be Patrick Mahomes' foil. Peyton Manning to Brady. KD went to the Warriors and beat LeBron. 
Mickelson with Tiger, Lemieux to Gretzky. Who's the foil? Burrow probably won't going to keep T. Higgins, and Lamar Jackson's got one star receiver. He just can't beat Mahomes. Maybe it's C.J. Stroud with the Texans. We're probably not going to be as good. And last year, at home, not as good. These Bills, over the last 24 hours, feel like they've become the other Bills, who were really, really good, which is usually good enough unless there's a Tiger or a Brady or a Tyson in his prime or now a Mahomes. Good is not good enough. If you told me Chargers, Herbert Harbaugh, Texans, D'Amico Ryan, C.J. Stroud, or Bills, Josh Allen, I'd probably say Buffalo in the next five years would finish third of those three teams in teams I think could win a Super Bowl. Again, Les Miles and Ed Orgeron were good, but not when Nick Saban was in the division. Rex Ryan was good, but not in the same division with Bill Belichick. A lot of great golfers during Tiger's 12-year blitz of the sport. They weren't good enough. Big Ben is going to be a Hall of Famer, but Brady's prime years when he was rolling, Big Ben felt small. Houston Rockets beat a lot of teams small ball. Couldn't beat the Warriors. Good and very good are often enough to hoist a trophy. They're not with a legend in the same conference and the best player probably in the world, Patrick Mahomes, right down the street. And today the Bills feel a little bit like the Bills we watched years ago. The second best team for maybe three quarters of a decade or a decade. Hi, everybody. It's me, Uncle Colin. Subscribe here to get the latest from the herd, including exclusive behind-the-scenes videos and more, wherever you may be, however you may be watching. Thanks again for making us part of your day.